Hey guys, you're watching Danski, the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a spirograph style effect in Adobe Illustrator. And if you've never heard of spirograph, it's a geometric drawing toy game thing from, from many years ago. And if you want to check it out, give it a Google. You can use it to create really cool patterns, which is what we're going to be doing in this tutorial. Rightio, so we're now in Illustrator and I've created a new artboard, a thousand pixels wide and a thousand pixels high. And I'm going to go over here, left click and hold on the rectangle tool and go down to polygon tool. And just left click anywhere on the artboard to create a new polygon. The radius can be whatever you like and the number of sides should be eight. And click OK. And it will create your eight sided shape, which is of course an octagon and we can left click and hold shift to scale this up proportionally. And I'm also going to select this white fill here and set that as none. Now the next thing to do is firstly deselect the current selection and we can do that by going to select, deselect and then select the pen tool. Now for this next step I would definitely recommend turning on your smart guides. Those are the pink things that you can see here, the pink text appearing, they just make it a lot easier to snap one object to another and you can turn those on by going to view down to smart guides and I'd also recommend turning off snap to pixel and with that done we can then simply do a little bit of a dot to dot and once you've done that first shape go to select deselect and then just do another one until we've connected each of these corners and then with the main selection tool drag over everything and from the stroke panel you can increase or decrease the stroke weight and if you hover over some of the corners you will see that these bits here stick out don't worry you can just change the corner from mitre join to round join and it will round those off so those bits won't stick out and we can then drag over our shape and go to object and group and it will now move around together as one group now with that group selected go to edit copy edit paste in place and we're going to rotate this so we can left click and drag from one of the corners but doing this manually like this isn't the most accurate way to do this so normally we would left click over one of the corners and hold shift and holding shift would rotate at an increment of 45 degrees but if you do that with this shape it looks exactly the same however you rotate it so what we're going to need to do is find out what half of 45 degrees is exactly. So let's open up our calculator and do 45 divided by 2, which gives us 22.5. And then with our top shape selected, we can go to the transform panel at the top or on the right. And under rotation, select this. Or if you have a number here, just click after it and type plus 22.5 and it will rotate the shape and if it does rotate off that central axis like this don't worry we can just drag over everything and from the align panel at the top or on the right just align these two shapes horizontally or vertically and we'll drag those back into the middle and we've created something like this and what we can do now is select the top shape double click the stroke in the color picker and pick a color so something like this and then I'm going to hold shift and use the left arrow key just once to nudge this out of place and then select the shape underneath double click that black stroke and change that to a different color and then I can select the red shape again and hold shift and now use the right arrow key and it essentially just nudges them back into place. So they're both back in line. So you can hold shift, nudge one out, easily get access to the one below, make any changes, and then nudge the top one back in. And if we drag over both of them, we can also change the transparency to multiply, and it will blend both of these shapes over one another. So you can see an overlap. And you can keep it exactly like this with these hard edges, or you can drag over everything with the main selection tool 
and then just click on the direct selection tool and you'll see the corners option appear at the top and you can click this or hold down until you see it adjust the corner radius like so. And there we go, we've got a slightly more rounded effect. It depends entirely what you're going for, but there we go, we are done. And there we go, that's how to create a spirograph style effect in Adobe Illustrator. I don't know about you, but that was a little bit of a trip down memory lane for me. <laughs> As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.